are you in a storefront or are you in a house? Like where, where do you do all this business? Um, so we have, I call it a little earring factory that we have <laughs> okay. here on, on East Wash. So the business has been on East Wash on the east side um, for 20 years now. And, um, and then a lot of the earrings are made by contractors. So we actually put together little packs of earrings and they make them at home and then they bring them back to the office. Really? Yeah. Was so, that something the previous business had started? Yeah. So that's actually why I was super interested in the concept and the business because it had a really cool business model to it. And it's something that I could easily scale up yeah. and make more of, um, and then I also love the creative part because I love to, I love every aspect of business basically. And I always said that I love art and business equally yeah. because I feel that business is incredibly creative and what you're doing is solving a problem. Just like an artist is solving a problem. They have an idea in their head and they want to create it, right? So it's solving a problem. So to me, I think art and business are the same thing basically. And so I get to design a product and then I get to produce it and then I get to sell it. So for me, I just love that whole process of, of those components. And then sometimes I have to do stuff that's not so fun, of course. <laughs> you right. know? Like, and so, but, the, but for the most part, I, I enjoy that process. And how do you find the people who make the stuff and bring them back in? Like outsourcing it like that seems... Yeah, how do you, how do you even sell somebody on on doing that? I guess what's the concept of having these people do these and uh, at home and bring them back in? Well, we find other artists that are you know love to make things, uh -huh. and so and they want to have some work on the side. Um, both of my I used to have six employees um, a year ago now, almost uh -huh. exactly a year ago, right today. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I had to let those employees go. And then I was able to only bring back two of them. So my two very part-time employees that work from home now, um, they're both artists themselves. My bookkeeper is a photographer and she has her own side business. Mm -hmm. And then my metal artist, she has her own business on the side too. She um, cuts metal pieces and little shapes and sells them online. So um, and then we used to have, we probably had about six different artist contractors um, over a year ago. And we, we kind of had to let them go because we don't have as much work. So um, I find making earrings very relaxing. So I like to do that in the evenings or on the weekends. I'll make a, I kind of do the simple ones. And then I have our metal artists do the more complicated ones. Um, she tends to be a little more patient <laughs> with making the earrings than I can be sometimes. And um, yeah, so we actually were really well known at the Willie Street Co-op. Um, okay. We sold our earrings there for forever, it seems like. And so a lot of people know the two brands, Imagine and Eclectic Earth, mm -hmm. but from finding it in those stores. So, and then we actually sell the Whole Foods around the country. Oh, wow. um, yeah. So we sell like to the Madison Whole Foods is one of our bigger stores too. They've been selling our earrings forever and we sell, you know, lots of them there. Did you acquire the, um, the image or I'm sorry, what were the two different types um, that it was? The two brands are Imagine, Imagine. and Eclectic Earth. Yeah. Did you acquire those when you bought it or were those yeah. the pre, was that the previous owner's name or how, how did how does that work? Um, so I'm actually the third owner um, of the business. It's been women owned. And so I bought it from um, the previous owner who had bought it from the previous owner who started the company. And those were her two brands that she had started. Yeah. And then each one of us has kind of improved the business, you know, mm -hmm. improved the brand, improved the product. So it's, it's a, evolved, right? Yeah. From where first started. So, um, you know, there are people who have lived in Madison who have probably seen the brand evolve, you know, the packaging kind of change and the, the product change. And, and so that's pretty cool too, to kind of watch that process. Mm -hmm.